O'Shea Jackson, a.k.a. Ice Cube, uh, relevant track title, My Skin Is My Sin, lyrics I'm gonna pick, motherfucker, you better brace yourself. File M11, Ibeso DX220. Very nice. Having just come from the land of $4,000 music players, that would be Low Tupac Gold Touch and the KN8. This is Japan prices. Uh, the $3,000 RAM, which would be the mm, ANK SP1000M Gold version. Um, Sony WM1Z, that was in the three grand range too. Then you go back down to the two grand range. Go back down to the two grand range. ANK SE100. Um, I'm sure I'm missing something. After having done that adventure and gotten rid of them in a fun way because they didn't, they were great, but uh, anyway. This, had, this box that I have right here had never been opened when I got this. I got a brand new, uh, like 2014 is when that was brand new, but nobody had ever opened that box and I found it by luck. And I'm the first person to touch, take the screen cover off of a Calyx Audio M. And I'm very happy. That's what a person that plays with the TOLs, TOTLs does. Like some people say, well, what is you, do you listen to? I listen to Calyx M, pretty much. Having come from the land of inflated, overhyped, uh, uh, free device getting shill pumped daps, um, they all suck in various ways, probably except for the Sony, um, because it, it doesn't fall in any particular way. Maybe the screen size and the the simplicity of the UI is part of its appeal, but I, I like stuff a little more complicated. So when the iBaso came out at, at this price, I was just like, wow. So this, this has power buttons on the top. Let me push these. Does this matter? Nah, not really. Who cares? Not me. But someone always asks, can you do a startup test? Sure. And we're ready to play music. And is that a big deal? Nah. Okay, and we're in. Screen quality of these is both fantastic. What you do is, is uh, as I've learned, this is where something like the Lotopa Gold sucks. You look at this angle. Why? Well, because I'll show you why. Look at this angle. And where you're going to find the fail is right here. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Why? I don't know. I don't make screens. High, high quality screen. It will give you an issue that this is dope this is dope take you to the land of corner I would say that this versus this this is supposed to have the better screen than this but I think that this screen is actually better but we're talking really, really small stuff. Um, the way that the album art is superimposed on top of uh, like a metal with little gold bands, I'm not a fan of. The album art over uh, blurred, expanded, stretched album art is something that I've seen on other devices and I've always been a fan of. I like it a lot. I think the Aston Kearns do that too. So on the simple presentation of the, the music that you're listening to, I, I prefer this visual to this one personal taste this is this is where now pay attention because i have ocd i want you to watch what what you're going to see is a smooth transition 
Did you see that? It was just a nice non-jagged drop like you might get with a phone or something. And then this is different. Boom, kick, boom. This has more memory than this has, but this is not coded as well. So that event is not as, mm, again, this pops up. This switches screen. This is constantly going like sliding from one thing to the other. slide to that you, you can see the slight staggering and stuttering that's going on with that whereas this is uh, very smooth by the time I get to the bottom the album art is basically the same difference is smaller thumbnails nine in frame smaller thumbnails six in frame pretty much again very fast nothing nothing to complain about there very fast by the time you get to the screen does this matter people like me have OCD and it does you'll start to fixate on the fact that when you get to the top of your album and your large collection you start to get a boop, 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 like the empty boxes that slowly fill with both of these devices that doesn't occur by the time I get to these nine or these six one two three four six nine I'm ready to go that's actually eight five I'm sorry that doesn't have as many albums on it. By the time I get to where I want to be, stop here. Stop here. Stop here. Stop there. Stop. Stop. Both are quite efficient. It's the moving from one thing to the other that seems to be slightly jarring between these two devices. Now again, drop. That was on me. It's a different method of transitioning. Now you're thinking, we're eight minutes in, bro. Are you going to talk about the sound? <coughs> sure. Um, if you had blindfold on and you were, let's say, hypothetically, you had a... 2.5 and you had a four point four balanced on both devices and then you were taking your IMs EX1000 and you were listening to the same song which is what I was doing last night and you were while you keep the head earphones in your ear you were jacking into and listening and pausing keeping the earphones in your ear without moving them at all and then you were going into the other one and listening to the same thing again having never moved the position of the IEMs in your ear you would come to discover that the sound difference with the iBaso in its stock config and the FIO is indeterminable is that a word? you, 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 you can't tell the, the sonic cues that I catch on the M11 
occur in the same way and at the same... There's no difference between these two devices, sound-wise. People that talk about heights and depths are uh, snake oil salespeople. They're shills. They're the people that say when the new item comes out that it's better than the previous item. And they tell you because of the height and the depth and the layering. But they don't tell you what song they were listening to. And then when you talk about the song, let's say, taking it to the streets, Doobie Brothers, the guitar string pulls at the beginning, like the first 20 seconds. That would be a good chance for someone to say, uh, the, you know, the, the guitar string, the, the resonating sound of the guitar, guitar string sounds like it's, it's, it exists for microseconds longer than it does on this other. A lot of people don't take the time to really get into the music. I did listen to taking it to the streets and I did listen to the bass line using the EX-1000. And I, there was no difference between the two. If I listen to the Calyx M or the WM1Z, I'm going to hear... Um, it's going to sound slightly different. It's the minutia where the differences lie. It, it, nothing is mask. Nothing is different between the two. But on a WM1Z, that, that string or a Calyx M might sound like it exists for microseconds longer. Like the resonating part of that guitar string being let go and then vibrating back to stationary, creating sound the entire time, might sound like it exists microseconds longer on the M17, WM1Z, and also the Calyx M because of the low pass filter amp stages. The, the, the drivers in my ears are the same. But that that would be something that would be different. That you can hear it. They both sound good. What's the difference? Mm, something like that, like m microseconds of existence, seeming different between these two devices. There is no such difference. There is no difference in the pull and release of the bass string note on taking it to the streets by the Doobie Brothers. I'm being very specific with what I'm saying, so that you can get it. When I listen to Dark Side of the Moon, on the run, and I'm listening to how much of the woman's announcement about getting their passports ready and going to gate number and uh, for a flight to Rome, the clarity and resolution that these two devices are able to put out while I'm jacking in to both of them and pausing and then listening to the same part again, OCD, it's it's real. Um, that There's no... This is not... Neither one of these is creating more of a sense of resolving that is being passed to the EX-1000. There is absolutely no difference. The difference is not in the sonics. The difference between these two devices would be that the iBaso, you can change the amp. Now, that I didn't know because I don't... I didn't know what the price of this was. Because... Because I'm dumb? Because I'm, I'm busy? I don't know. Because I'm dumb and busy, because I'm busy and dumb, because I'm, I'm a little dumb, a lot of busy, a lot of dumb, a little busy, whatever. It's, it's a combination of that. I didn't know the price of this fucking thing when I did the review yesterday. And I guess that's good because when I looked online, I actually clicked file because I wanted to put it under the, uh, the video, like a link. And then I clicked buy because I thought, I, it just, I'm not going to buy it, but I wanted to, because I, I got it. Well, how much is it? I couldn't see it, so I was like, fuck, I typed Google M11 price, and that's how I found the price of this item. Um, and then I everything changed. $500. four .4, point five, three point five. $500 for dual SD card having 4.4, 2.5, 3.5. Oh, I was blown away. There's no difference between this and this in the sound. The the difference is that you can buy amp for this, like Amp 8, that costs $300 in Japan. So I'd have to invest an additional $300 just to use this connector, which is most of my cables right now. So if I wanted to upgrade this because people say, you know what, to get better sound out of this, you should get amp number eight. Well, that's nice, but that's another $300 that makes this $1,300, which makes it still affordable compared to its competitors. But I got 4.4 right here, which I love. Um, 
and there's no difference sound wise and the UI from this is a smoother experience than it is for this and people say well they're gonna update it well they're gonna update too we're talking about two companies that are good about firmware updates they used to not be good and they were not great too but in the past two years they both improved their game and I consider firmware upgrades to be after service however other people would say no I'm basically a fucking beta tester and if I'm very lucky what they're gonna do is get this to where it's supposed to be when it's initially sold before they move on to the next thing and that's the reality of this hobby that hopefully the firmwares will get this to its maximum uh, potential where it should be released to the public in that state so I'm with you guys when you talk about that do I wreck the DX220 I, I think it sounds great and it, it gives you the uh, the ability and the opportunity to 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 go for 4.4 or to do whatever you want to do um, you're gonna have to pay for that and then by the time you get a collection they're gonna be releasing another one and uh, you can keep your amps and then you just buy a new Fio has another flagship that's supposed to be coming out I don't know what it's called someone just told me about it yesterday um, and uh, that's gonna be in line with the the Fio X7 Gen 2 and it's gonna have the changeable amps which I'm sure will be if it's not backward compatible people's heads will explode so I assume it's gonna have to be the same as this where you can take your old DX200 amps and use it with this which is a great idea um, so the the only thing that this has over this it's not sound quality no it's not user interface that's no it's the flexibility to be able to use different amp stages so if that's important to you then you'd wanna maybe possibly consider doubling your investment into this if that's not important to you and you want something that drives mostly IEM so I did drive the MA 900s with this but mm, that's it uh, those are 70 millimeters they're not that hard to drive uh, Empire Ears by Legend X by Legend X Legend X by Empire Ears and also the EX 1000 of course are the two IEMs that I I got OCD I gotta focus and, and uh, repeat 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 and come to my conclusion my conclusion is that neither of these devices sound different and if anybody says that they do sound different I'd like you to ask them exactly what drivers and please use something that is commonly available to most people if this is a thousand dollar dab it's not a four thousand dollar one so people that are buying this uh, talk to them in their language speak to them and say listening to you know this insert easy to get uh, popular many people having IEM and then describe the song and the part of it that sounds different on this than it does for that that's my challenge I suppose to the community so instead of talk about fucking layering and heights and widths and depths what part of what song sounds better on this than it sounds on that seriously because I'll follow up and do another video and I'll follow up what that person said because I want to learn between espousing my fucking awesomeness and how I know more than everybody else I still you gotta learn to stay ahead of the fucking Joneses if somebody says on this track I can hear this existing longer than that well fuck if I think so too I'll, I'll add that and say it um, I've done that before in videos man that's why people trust me because I can say ah that dude was right I fucking was shocked I, I didn't think that that person knew what they were talking about or I've done that stuff in my video if somebody comes in and says I hear you know this and come on uh, uh, something that's reasonable and easy to get and I can't catch it that way on this I want to I want to hear that uh, I want to hear that same file I'll Dropbox a file and exchange it with that person if they're really about mm, as much of a controlled situation as you can get that we're both using the same device and we're listening to the exact same file because we 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 shared it you know like because it's all paid for and legit and then I can say uh, you know what I, I can't catch what that dude's talk about or I can say I'll be fucked I, I, I now I, I get to what he's talking about with that without that having occurred to this type time when I release this video and doubt that it's ever happened because it, it's never happened in five years I would say that this M11 would be where you put your money because it's five hundred dollars it's got 4.4 it's got a UI that is second only to the Astell and Kern and in all honesty I want you to watch this again if you if you're familiar with Astell and Kern did you see that that was so smooth 
Did you see that? That was so smooth. Watch. Mmm. God damn, that's beautiful. Um, I don't know of a user interface experience that's more enjoyable than the Aston Kern, and I would actually say that this might be the best on the market right now. I don't think that this... I don't think that this competes with that. And I think that you can see for yourself the way that this works, that it's the same experience. This is a smooth sliding drawer, and this is a switch to screen. It's two different things. Um, I enjoy this better than I do this. And I, if you watch my DX150, I loved the left, right, up, down kind of panel thing that they did like Sony. And it works smoother than this does. I can't quite get why that is. You see that? That was not that smooth. That was smooth. Boom. 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 Everything's coming in in smoothness. It's, it's, it's maximizing the available hardware. This is a, maybe some firmware is away from doing its best. It's not there yet. Um, for $500... If these were the same price, I would say, I'd get this, but if you're into changing amps, I would recommend this. But this is half of the price of this. And they don't sound at all different. And I said, the take into the streets, Doobie Brothers, the bass string pull, and the, what would sound different with a WM1Z and a Calyx M, like microseconds of existence of that strings resonating. I, th that would be something between these two items no difference whatsoever if you want to have a like an analog an analog being like a similar copy of something basically in that definition of the term analog uh wm1a is what these sound like neutral but not in the sense of like the dx200 with the original lamp and, and can everybody get over the butthurt about that nobody recommends the dx200 with the original lamp but there's a reason for that it's very very cold and analytical the, these neither of these exhibit that they exhibit uh, neutrality with a sense of musicality. That's as close to fucking bullshit talk as I'm gonna get. But these both remind me of the WM1A. Um, this by a 2.2 and this by a 4.4. They both sound neutral, accurate, and no sense of warmth, but but lively. They sound good. So 22 minutes. I'll let you guys go. Uh, I wreck this one over this one. If they were the same price, I'd do that. But I would caveat that this is, you got more flexibility with this. You're going to be able to, you know, take your amps with you when you move to the next city. You're not going to be able to do that, but you've already got 4.4 uh, with you right here. Oh, I can tap that. I don't think I can tap this one. <coughs> Just a better experience than this for double the price. Can I tap this? Okay, I can. Um... I just like watching it. It's very, very nice. Two great devices. If you buy this device, you've got more money for your IEMs or your headphones. Um, I go with this one. Nothing wrong with this. Um, if people, please come into my comment section if people start to. I'll be watching now too and make specific claims about this device being superior to this in this configuration with this stock amp versus this. Please tell me what the song and what the sonic event that they were describing so that I can use my OCD and have fun with it and come back and say, I agree or I disagree. And who am I? I'm a dude with a YouTube channel that gets viewers. That's who I am. So people want to hear that stuff. Which one do I wreck? It's fucking gorgeous. It's absolutely fucking gorgeous. It's sonic performance is absolutely identical to this one. There is no difference. And I look forward to people saying otherwise because when I got something to do, I'll watch it and smile and then when I have nothing to do, I'll check it out and have fun doing so because admitting or saying that something is not what you expected is fun in itself. So if somebody points out something and I discover something that I is goes against my preconceived notion that that's kind of fun I like to 
I like to go against myself sometimes. Do you guys understand? I, I don't like to be set in a in a groove and stick there and then keep my head down and ignore everything that is counter to my experience. We're 25 minutes in. If you're still here, congratulations. Um, fucking love it. Before we part, I'd like to say a fuck you to uh, Jason from Astell and Kern for being a bitch, asshole. Um, I'd like to say a fuck you to Lotu for being a bunch of bitches and hoes and uh, basically stealing my money. That's what they did. They stole my money. Um, and uh, Kayan, uh, Kayan's, Kayan's, I like Kayan. I got no issue with them. And Ibeso, I had an issue with Ibeso one time uh, with the DX150 and it was taken care of quickly. So I got no issue with them either. I think I got more issue with their shills. The people that they've been using for years to pump up their stuff. And you, the, you when the new one comes, you know they're going to say that it's better than the old one. Because that's their job. They're water boys and they carry water. And then you say, well, you carry water, don't you? Ah, oh, yeah, about the water carrying. I just I just shot down the newest D BGVP that was supposed to be a big winner. And I just shot down the biggest, most expensive, Fearless. Um, so, no, my, if you see a bucket in my hand, check it because there's no water in it, man. But I can show you water boys because they're all around and you know who I'm talking about. Splash free, sucker free over here. Get the M11 and be fucking happy. It's absolutely fucking gorgeous. Watch these transitions. And sound quality is the same. Let's get out of there. Get out of the way. I don't want to do that. I want to... Oh. Oh, fuck me. Hmm. Oh, shit. Shine on you, crazy diamond. Mm. And I am out highly wrecked we'll get its own full video describing everything and any issues i run into because i'm not using two sd slots yet um i i wrecked this thing but if it's got issues i consider that to be feedback for the company's benefit so i'll, I'll bring it up so far nothing mm, nothing with this either mm, it's just double the price and i'm out Shelling my name to be precise, rip